episode 53, which is absolutely insane, I've got to say. And we are super excited. We have the one, the only, the lovely Miss Sierra Virtual. It's awesome. Awesome. Woo! We asked her and she said yes. And she's here, here which I is am. great. Here which I is am. great. And so we've been chatting up a storm for yes. 40 minutes. So, yes. uh, yeah. We almost did not stop talking. We almost did not. The we're like, live happy. Exactly. And the crew, we have another crew just live. getting back. It's, stop talking, yeah. I, go live. I know. We got to go live. Cool. So, we are going to cook. We're going to chop. And we're going to chat. And we're going to make some ramen. Yay. I've like never ramen? made oh. ramen. Well, this is cheetah ramen. Okay. I'm, I'm cheater? cheater ramen. Okay. So this is something, because ramen is one of those like, I don't know how to make that, right? Like people get kind of worked yeah, up about scared, it. Nervous. So okay. all this stuff you can buy in your grocery store. And if you like do a little tiny bit of prep, you can have this put together in like 10 minutes. Okay, awesome. Super awesome. Okay, great. So you said you kind of like, Fast. you have no dietary restrictions. No. You, no. you eat mostly plant-based, but you do eat meat and cheeses when you feel like yeah. it. Yeah. Which is <laughs> all great. She's so cute. She's I like, remember all these she's things. She's quoting me directly. I am. That's a direct quote. That is great. Um, yeah, so I decided that I would do like a, veg, a vegetable, like a mushroom kind of ramen, but then we're going to add some pork in there because okay, we had so some cute. delicious pork in the fridge and it was just really awesome. Okay. So Yeah, cool. Let's do it. I'm excited. We, we will get started, but first I want to know, like, what is all about you? She, sure. uh, for those that you do not know, do not know this lovely lady, You're she so is sweet. Miss Universe Canada 2016. Yes. Woo! That's very exciting. I mean, yes. that's one of, like, many, many things, but that's oh, obviously you. one. Thank and you. you're also graduated law school yes oh, so I, I, I always I find that when I tell people that I'm in the pageant world that I was a pageant contestant pageant yeah. winner they are very surprised to know that I went to law school and graduated law school so yes. and then when I know people in the law world they're equally surprised right, that, that you're in the pageant, pageant world. world so I'm like you can do both shame you on can, all of you people. yeah exactly we, we, we can do, you can do anything we can walk on a stage in a bikini and be it, smart yeah why not yeah, why exactly not? Yeah, so anyway, that's a little bit about me. Awesome. I, pageant girl, law graduate, and I have a fur baby at home. For a seven-month-old fur baby? Seven-month-old golden seven retriever. Month? Yes, and what's his name? Or his her name, name is Ted. Oh, my God, that's my husband's name. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, that's, that's hilarious. So funny. Her husband and my dog share yeah, name. Yeah, share great. name. It's Hi, great. Ted. Hi, Ted. Hi, Ted. He'll be watching later. He's probably that's, just getting home from Taekwondo. That's awesome. That's yeah, so that's awesome. a great okay. name. Good job. That is a good name. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's, All right. what, that's most of my excitement. So we'll do a little bit of chopping now and get this yeah. started, and then we'll chat about a few more things. Sounds good. Cool. Okay. All right. So onion chopping. Okay. What you know how to do onion chopping? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I know how I do onion chopping. Okay. Well, I, I will show you I how I do, show, and then you can do you, you can do that. You're the professional, so you show me so, what's the proper way. Yeah. Whole onion, skin yes. on. So you're just gonna take the top off. Okay. Right, and then we're gonna cut it in half. Right okay. down the root. Leave the root on. Okay. Leave the root. And then root. all you're gonna do is peel back the layers. Peel back. There's a song about that. Holly Cole sang it. Serious? Uh, peeling back the layers of an onion. What's that song? Now that's in my hand, I'm gonna have. Ginger, Ginger, come on, Google. Get the Googler out. Get the Googler out. All right, so she can't hear anything? All right, so this is our root. We've got a little bit more skin, so I'm going to take one more layer of the top off. Yeah, I normally now, like peel the whole damn thing, like, but in one. Yeah. I don't cut it in half. So this but, is and leave this on because that's what keeps it all connected. Yeah. So if you don't, if you don't leave the root tip on, it'll it's kind of fall apart in your hair. So if we were to dice it, I'll give you a little trick here. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to go... One, two, this way, and then you're gonna go two, 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 and then when you go to slice it, they're like in perfect little cubes. Mm -hmm. okay. But we're not gonna do that for Robin. Okay. We're gonna do it just like this. Look how perfect she's such a professional. Yeah, such a I'm professional. I'm so into it. I, I watch know. Master Chef with dreams of being that good at chopping, but I don't think I'll ever be that good at chopping. You're hilarious. <laughs> so tuck your fingers under, yeah. and then always keep the top part of the knife. You're gonna grab it like this and pinch. Okay. So then you have really good control. All right. And then you're just going to leave that top part up and bring it down. And that's okay. it. And we only need half. So that's all you got to do. Okay. And then we're going to chop some mushrooms. Wait, wait. How do I? Did you sign your waiver? Did you sign, so your, waiver? You sign your waiver? I didn't Fingers sign up. a waiver, you guys. <laughs> and then, yeah, you've got it no, right up on the blade. So right pinch. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to rock. So do it without the onion okay. first. So I feel like I'm uh, learning how to ride a bike yeah. or something. Okay. So you always want to sort of leave this part. And you want to cut back on the, this part of the blade, right? So you're rocking the front. Yeah. Watch your fingers. Yeah. You're going to chop your fingers off. There you Seriously? go. So tuck them I'm under. Like the, so if the blade was to hit, it would only hit the front of your fingers. You don't want to cut your fingers. Oh my gosh. This is actually, you guys make it look so easy. <laughs> Practice I'm, makes perfect. My right? mom's watching and she's going to be like, what the hell are oh. you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I taught my daughter how to cut an onion. Cool. Oh my God. All right. So 
I, is that, that, <laughs> that's it. That, I'll take back over on the top side. You guys, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> it's not. You did a you great job. Tell me this would be embarrassing. Show's over. Show's over. <laughs> Show's over. You said you weren't like a great cook. Well, yeah. Like I don't. But I, you I, hang out in the kitchen. You like to bake. You said. Yeah, I love I baking. So I what made, do you love to bake? Yeah, I made a. Um, Pum- I made pumpkin chocolate chip cookies last night, and they're actually Ooh. really good. You know, the nice, like, cakey cookie. Yeah, they're really Lovely. good. Lovely. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, pumpkin chocolate chip. I don't know. Do we have questions? I believe your mom is on. Oh, my mom. Oh, oh, hi, mom. mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, my mom, yeah, she's, okay, did she uh, ask something? She said, hello, lady. Hello, oh, lady. Hello. Oh, well, your mom's in Saskatchewan, right? Yeah. Because you're from Saskatchewan. Hi, part. Part. I'm from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. Moose Jaw. I know. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, and fun fact uh, about Miss Universe Canada. <laughs> fun fact about Moose Jaw. <laughs> fun fact, uh, I was the first woman from Saskatchewan to ever represent Canada at wow. Miss Universe. So that's that was awesome. kind of cool. Yeah, so I, very, very I was cool. actually kind of shocked though. Like, how can someone from the prairies, you know, not have, have ever? Really, like, that's I, a pretty big yeah, part of I, Canada. I think maybe one girl from Alberta maybe went to okay. represent Canada, but yeah. Not all those people from Toronto that we were talking about. All those about damn Toronto people. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just an inside joke we were talking just about that earlier. We yeah. love Toronto. Chef Ivan's here. Oh, uh, Chef Ivan. Hi, Chef here. Ivan. My wife's here. Oh, hi, Miss Sarah. Carrie Mayer's here. And your mom said, <laughs> put some steel gloves on my girl. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> She's got delicate hands. Yes. We don't want to chop them off. Yes. Don't want to yes. chop them off. That's so funny. Oh, my god. Hilarious. Gosh. We're doing ramen. Ramen. Cheetah ramen. Cheetah ramen. This is not like four hours slaving making homemade noodles and homemade broth for this. We are doing cheetah ramen, yeah, which is delicious and great for dinner and quick and super healthy. Lots of great ingredients in it. Yeah, here we so go. we've chopped an onion very well. Very well, I might add. Very, very well. Didn't chop any fingers. No. Okay. And so I dehydrated. These were dehydrated um, uh, mushrooms. So these yes. are shiitake. So I just hydrated them up so they're nice and meaty. And I oh. just actually put them in the broth that... I bought, it's a mushroom broth, it's really, really delicious. But you could use a homemade veg broth, you could do a really beautiful pork broth, you could okay. do, I mean, if you had a really great beef broth, you could do any of that. But I just rehydrated them. The so flavor those, on those are just delicious. De- delicious, and they have that nice meaty texture, so they're going to okay. eat, eat, we're using fresh and dried. Okay. So that's going to give us some great texture contrast in, okay. in the ramen. Sounds good. So portobellos, mm-hmm. they didn't have shiitake, so I went with portobello, because I just fly by the seat of my pants sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so again, same thing, you're going to rock. Look how amazing she is, are you serious? Yeah, oh stop. I do it like a toddler, except you wouldn't do a toddler <laughs> that yeah, night. Cooking classes are so popular. Yeah, okay, we have cooking true. classes, really? you can come, yeah. yeah. I should come, okay. All right, you can do the next when, two, I'm sure you'll when's, be. When's the next opening? Yeah, oh. Co- oh, well, we, I think we have a couple seats tomorrow. I think we might have what the hell? Seats. Yeah, you want to come tomorrow? Okay. Okay. You and your partner. You and your, yeah. yeah. What is, home and away is tomorrow. What do you, Ho- home and away is tomorrow, and then Italian Ella Oliver is on Saturday. Jamie wait, Oliver. And, wait, what's tomorrow? Home and away. What's that mean? So local. Go ahead, no, Ginger. I can't, we're, doing the fresh crab we're doing a rolls. snow roll, like a snow crab roll. It's, so it's ingredients from home with yeah. an international global influence. Oh, home and away. Home and away. Oh. And Chef Andrew, who is our resident chef and culinary instructor. Okay. Are you watching, Mr. Andrew? Um, he has been doing awesome job and developed all these new classes so cool yeah. Yeah. three to four hours of his attention so imagine what wow. you might imagine all the better. fun things the, all the fun things you're more than what we could happily have you in okay. your and your husband tomorrow okay. Woo-hoo. or saturday you okay. get i i botched this one but this one was better oh, you're good you're good I, you're I, all good. I actually botched it have you guys seen the show botched that's what i did to the mushroom <laughs> that's what i did to the mushroom <laughs> we have a question yeah. okay what's the question Okay, so here's a question from Sarah, my wife. She said, what brought you to the best, I mean, East Coast? <laughs> what, what brought me to the best coast, yes, the East that's coast right. is my husband's in his last year of dentistry at Dalhousie. Woo woo! So, woo woo! So after I finished law school, I moved out here. And then, I, I don't know if we've shared this, but I'm 19 weeks pregnant. Yes. Woo woo! We were talking about all the way her life is going to change in 21 weeks. Yeah, so I'm, <laughs> we're just around I'm a that. little nervous, but you no, know. No, no. It's going to be fine. I have my mom awesome. to help me out through the process, right? Yeah. Any advice, Patty? Yeah, just yeah, any <laughs> advice? Any mom? What's, what's your like top three mom advice? Don't listen to what anybody else tells you. Really? Yeah, because everybody's going to offer you an opinion, and they're all yeah. going to have some kind of story behind it or you should do this and you know what I was guilty of that before I had kids my, like my sister I can remember at some point she's like will you just shut up you don't know anything about this and I was like oh yeah she's probably right like I don't really know but I would say you're going to get a whole bunch of advice mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. listen to your gut okay. and I would just say do what works for you okay right obviously yeah. you're not, not going to harm your child of any way but yeah, yeah, yeah. do what works for you and just you know 
follow your gut and follow. So I would say that, and I would say get your sleep. Because I love, Ginger and I were talking about this, I love my sleep. Yeah. I'm a sleeper. Okay. And so children do get not sleep no. a okay. lot. So get it while you can. Get it okay. while you can. And my guy, my, my youngest, I'm sorry, my oldest is James. He was four pounds, and he was really, really what? little. Mm -hmm. Full turn. Oh, my God. Anyway, that's a whole other story. But he was so little, so he had to feed all the time. So for the yeah. first six months, I literally lived in a lazy boy chair. Wow. Sleeping and up every hour yeah. and a half, two hours. So oh that can God. get taxing, right? Yeah. But So find the, your moments in that. Yeah. And like I said, we have a, we have a sales manager on uh, maternity, Brittany, who might be watching. I said, look, when your child sleeps, sleep. Yeah. Even if it's the middle of the day, just put sleep. your baby down yeah. and go to sleep yeah. <laughs> because that's what you need. That's good yeah. advice. Okay, I would yeah. take that advice. Take that advice. I would take that advice. But don't listen and, to everybody. Yeah, no. Okay, that's good. And did you find that a lot of people tried to rub your belly? Yes. Or they feel like this is now public property. Yeah, 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 yeah. they can go right. Oh, yeah. No, I always ask. So okay. if I always say, oh, is it all right? If I, you know, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But yeah, because, no, it's really strange. Yeah, I've I read know. advice that says to touch the person's belly back. In back? <laughs> And I was like, I'm gonna do that. I didn't do that. I don't want to touch me. Like, what the? I, I, actually, know. I also saw someone. Uh, they quoted, um, "If you didn't put it in there, then don't touch it." <laughs> <laughs> Is that TMI for? No, no, guys? not for chit chat chop. <laughs> There's never TMI for chit chat chop. Anyways, question. Okay, question. Chef, question. Chef, we got Chef Andrew here. We got Chef Rodney. Cole chef Andrew, here. Chef Rodney Cole. Wow. Yeah. My wow. wife said, "Sleep, yes, yes, sleep." sleep. And as I know, I'm the father. I'm not a. I'm not a the children yes but my piece of advice would be all the cliches and all those things that time moves really fast enjoy enjoy all those things are true Every, yeah all that stuff yeah. is true make sure you enjoy enjoy every hard second times yeah you will look back and and try things. to enjoy them okay cool exactly. well it's already yeah. gone by so fast i'm almost halfway and i, I feel like what the hell so i know no i'm like, with you it's what? totally crazy yeah. Mm -hmm. it's hard yeah so we think we're gonna okay. saute our, our onion mm -hmm. it smells so good Little bit of oh, see, I'm yeah, okay. What what's up? Well, that beeped because I took the pan off. This is induction, uh, so when you take it off, it beeps. And I always forget because I'm always like, really I got to remember to do this. Show here. your skills. Yeah, yeah, Match chef that, skills. The here. onions would be like over yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's so next? we, we have, have some garlic which we've already pureed up because we okay. have stacks of pureed garlic that yes. we do here in house. So just that. a little bit of that. Oh yeah, I love garlic. Yeah, awesome. And then we're gonna take our mushroom. Which is our dehydrated mushroom, mm -hmm. well, rehydrated, I should say. Yeah, dehydrated, there. now rehydrated. Yeah, now rehydrated. Okay. And then just our our fresh mushroom. We're gonna put all in. of that in. I put a little bit of salt and pepper in there. Cool. And it's so gonna be in. better. Look at that. Woo. I love being in the mixes. Oh, I know. I can use these tongs. I I'm just really pretending I'm a master chef. Seriously. Yeah. You can. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks. All right. You can. Yeah. Okay. Use the tongs and get that around. I might add a little more oil because those mushrooms tend to suck it all Actually, up. The guy who is second on MasterChef Canada was from Dartmouth, right? Yes. Is that, yeah? Yeah. What, um, is he I back in, in I, Andy, yeah. I think it's Andy. Andy? It is Andy. Andy. He was a judge at Salt Capes for one of the cooking competitions. Oh, okay. And oh. he was at that, that amazing dinner that Chef Ivan did, who's watching. Chef Ivan. Chef Ivan. Chef Ivan owns The Orient, which is an amazing, oh, okay. authentic Chinese food restaurant down okay. on Bedford, like Chinese food like you've never had before. Really? Ever. Ever. Well, I was really craving Chinese food like last week, so when the cravings strike, there you go. I'm That's to the, the place Orient. to go. The Orient is the place the to Orient. go. The Orient. Okay. I'm gonna. All right. I know. Yeah, it smells so good. And we don't want to do too much on that because okay. we want it to still have some crispness to it. You know, like you don't want it like over sauteed. Okay. So we're pretty good. No, you're doing a great job. No, I'm just talking about cooking, not. Okay. Cooking. Okay. So then what we're gonna do is just we're gonna turn the heat off and we're just gonna lay our spinach. We just want to slightly wilt it. Lay the spinach just on top. So Look at all this health. Yeah. All the greens. All the healthy stuff. Health is wealth, everyone. Health is wealth. There you go. <laughs> all right. So we'll just leave that there and sort of let that go down. All right. So, and what I'm going to do, you can you ever use a grater? Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is called microplane. It's just like a grater. Okay. So you're going to take, I took the skin off ginger. Yeah. And you're just going to, and it doesn't look like it's it, coming out, but it but is. But it will. Okay. It, and it takes all that fibrous bit out, mm -hmm. and then you just tap it. Okay. Yeah, it's so fine. Yep. <laughs> and then if you need to, you can, there's not sharp on this side, so yeah. you can just run your okay. finger down. All right, yeah. and just lay it on top of the spinach. Cool. Okay. So, I mean, you do so many other things. You're involved yeah. in so many social activist yes. things, which yes. I love, because I was doing you. my research on you, Thank as I you. try to do on the All Chit Chat Shop. Yes. She was Googling and wiki I was totally, and yeah, creeping Websiting and social mediaing. <laughs> so, <laughs> the gist of my story, if yes. you will, yeah, on tell social me your story. media, 
is when I was at Miss Universe, <laughs> and that is the show that Steve Harvey hosts, but he did not crown the wrong winner when I competed. <laughs> it, was, it was the year after the scandal. Okay, the year after. The year after. And the kind of scandal, I guess, that year, in a way, was what people were saying about me. So people were calling me things like Which fat, is, I, overweight. I can't, I can't even understand it. T- said things like, I was promoting obesity. Like, what the hell? Unbelievable. Okay, I looked at you in a bikini, and for the record, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Like, there's absolutely you're way, no way. That's ridiculous. You're, you're way too kind. But wait, the problem was, is that, okay... You know, it sucks reading these things about myself. Nobody wants to be called these things. But what bothered me was that I was getting messages from young women, from moms, from grandmas who were saying, if these people are saying this stuff about you, what would they say about me? What would they say about my daughter, my granddaughter? And so I knew I had to say something. And so I started sharing messages of positivity, like awesome. love yourself for the way you are. Embrace your body. Every body is unique. Um, it's okay to not look like the women we see in the ads on billboards, etc. And all of a sudden, my story was being shared by CNN, Huffington Post, Vogue, Time. And I was like, what the hell is happening? (laughs) Okay, I didn't realize that loving yourself was such a big deal. Hot topic. Around the world. So anyways, I ended up placing the top nine at Miss Universe, which was pretty cool. That's amazing. Congratulations. That's awesome. And Canada hadn't placed in over 10 years. So obviously, I wasn't too obese or whatever or worried about what any of the other people exactly were whatever they Nasty were wanting people. to say <laughs> yeah like people and the thing too is that health looks different on every body yes. what is healthy for one person isn't healthy for another so that's what i really tried to get across i may not yeah. have as defined abs as the girl next to me but that doesn't mean i'm not healthy fit it's a, yeah. also mentally healthy that's huge huge so yeah anyway do i keep no nope, you're good you're okay, good to go that's good yeah okay so anyways that's kind of you the can gist. wipe your hands on that yeah, if you want thank, to thank you cool well, that's yeah, so awesome. That's, yeah, it's, so I'm really involved now in speaking at schools. Not you do a lot with We Day. A lot with We Day, yeah. yeah which I've, is amazing. I've spoken at the We Days for the last almost 10 years since We Day Holy started. God. What the hell? Yeah, so <laughs> I, I spoke at my first We Day when I was 16 in front of 16,000 young people. Wow. It was pretty crazy, a little nerve wracking. Awesome. Um, and then now I've been speaking at a lot of schools, women's breakfasts, galas, and I just kind of share my story. And surprisingly, but not surprisingly, so many people can relate because oh, yeah. we've all been there where we look at the Victoria's Secret models on the runway. For men, they see the men's health with these crazy abs and yeah. we all question ourselves and our bodies and think, oh, I should change this, I should do this, rather than really focusing on what we have and that we're okay And our way strengths we are. and what's amazing about us. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Like all the media tells us to focus on what we want to change rather than everything that we are. So. That's why I just try to share my story, my take on it, and it seems to have been something that people really need to hear, yeah. which in a way is so sad. We shouldn't have to hear It's that, 2018 yeah, and we should not have to hear that. Like, so, and yet it's almost worse than ever because of the rise of social media, yeah. cyberbullying. It's more accessible for young people to be talked about in a way that puts and themselves And they're exposed at such a young age. Like we were talking about that too, mm-hmm. right? You know, your kids at 7, 8, 9 even though you can traffic it as much as yeah. you, they are still exposed to that social media mm-hmm. and it's exposed to these mechanisms which mm-hmm. you know have them ch- check at seven and at six questioning these things whereas mm-hmm. you know when i was a kid you had the old rotary dial telephone yep. yeah there was no there you weren't you weren't comparing yourselves at that point there might yeah. have been a teen magazine that yeah. came every once in a while yeah. but at the end of the day it's not as prevalent as it is today so yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely so, an important message yeah, and definitely totally. We got to work on it. Yes. Yes. Is there anyone like you share your story? Is there anyone else's story that's affected you? That's impacted you? I would say somebody that I look up to would be Ashley Graham, who's a model mm-hmm. who is amazing. A, she's so amazing. She was the first plus size model to. But be on she's the cover. really not plus size. Exactly. Yeah. yeah to, to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. So to me, yeah, she was just kind of that groundbreaker to show like it's okay you can be on the cover of this magazine and you don't have to look this way and on and on so I think yeah she really her message resonated with me and what I was experiencing yeah Yeah. awesome yeah all right so we're gonna go back to ramen now yes okay we got all that awesome back to ramen yeah so I bought an organic mushroom broth which you can get like in most your natural food sections I mean, you could take, again, if you had a chicken stock or a beef broth that you had at home, you could totally use that, any kind. But basically, if you buy something that's a store-bought product, you want to, like, jazz it up. The whole thing about ramen is the broth is, like, wickedly flavorful and okay. has that, like, umami feel. Okay. So, we're going to take this broth, which I'm going to dump in a bowl, which is a straight organic mushroom broth, and we're going to add a few key features to it. Okay. 
we're gonna bring it up here. Here's All the right. broth. Here's the broth, and we have, do I have a whisk? Oh, I don't have a whisk. Ginger, could you get me a whisk, please? I thought I, oh, I did bring one out, it's in the bin, but I'll take one from over there. So, we have butter, which is, a, I know was a little oh, weird, but it gives you that beautiful mouthfeel and that little fat element. So, it's about two tablespoons of butter, and then miso. Okay. Do you do a lot with miso? No. Okay, so miso is a fermented soybean paste. Can you hack the smell? Are you okay there? That's fine. Yeah, yeah. so it's a it's Japanese fine. fermented, so it's white miso, so it's okay. not as strong. Okay. And if you buy this, it comes in like a little uh, tub. You're never going to go through the amount of, so, so freeze it. Oh, so okay. take what, what I usually do is either take it out and put it in like, freeze it on a tray so you've got like a little tablespoon of it, and then you just pull out a tablespoon as you need it, because okay. it'll last a year. Wow, okay. Yeah. yeah. I just always think of miso soup. That's... Yeah, which is a powdered miso, but oh. the paste is definitely better. So you, again, it's about the same amount as the butter. And then we're gonna add a little tamari. Do you know what tamari is? No. So it's a soy sauce that's okay. gluten free. Okay. Okay, and it's super flavorful. And so we're just gonna add a little bit of that in. I didn't even know normal soy sauce had gluten. Is it does. Yeah. Yes, it does. Normal, and it has a ton. So all we're gonna do is whisk that up. It has a ton, okay. yeah. Wow. It has, it, normal, and it has a ton of sodium in it, which yeah. this probably still has tamari. a ton. So tamari is like a better option. It's a better yeah. option, yeah. Okay. Yep. And that's I'm it. I'm learning so many things. Well, there you go. Becoming food educated. So that's really it. I'm probably gonna add a little bit of salt because this is again a broth, but we're gonna have salt in, um, the tamari has salt, so you don't wanna over season, right? Just mild on that. And that's it. So now we're just gonna build the bowls. Sweet. So like seriously, we saute, and if you don't want like mushrooms, you could use roasted red peppers, you could use zucchini. I mean, the sky's the limit. Yeah. Whatever flavor profile when you want to go with. When it comes to the with, vegetables, the sky's the limit. The sky's okay. the limit, and then you just need a noodle. So I just bought um, instant ramen noodles. Okay. So not like Mr. Noodle that has the package in it. Yeah, not But you Mr. can noodle. buy these, and I just, when I had the broth on, yeah. I, I, I dumped these in and just let them hydrate, oh. and then I pulled them off, and now they're cold. That's awesome. So okay. as Ginger and I were talking, like easy meal prep for when yeah. you have family or when, when you're you busy, have kids. when you have kids, which she's about to get. When you have uh, babies. And you need something quick. If you cook off a bunch of these and leave them in the fridge, you can do like a cold noodle salad. You can put them in ramen. You can kind of do anything. He's getting geeky with the snack Yeah, look glasses. at this. Can they see that? The, like, <laughs> they can, but I never on my Snapchat. Yeah. Like, Adam has all the tech out tonight. All the tech. These glasses. I looked over at first. I thought it was like funny glasses. Like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to like throw you guys off, but really he's like got the tech glasses on. Look at these bowls too. These are cool. Yeah. Yes. Exactly, except I think yeah. I saw tape. No, no, okay. no, we're good. Okay, so we're going to just put a handful. We're going to build our ramen. So I would say about a handful of these noodles. And if you don't like these kind of noodles, you could use udon noodles. You could use, a, a, what's the other one? Udon. So, um, starts with an S. Soya. She has Soba. baby brain. Soba. Thank you. I have baby, <laughs> baby brain and mine are 10 and 7. Just kidding. Total have baby brain. Um, yeah, so we've got that. And then we're okay. just going to take some of these. We have a crew returning from an event. Oh, Hi, guys. Very quiet. Miss Robin, they're trying. So I'm just going to put the mushrooms and the spinach on the back. I'll make you some ramen after. <laughs> they're probably hungry. Probably. So just on the back of the bowl. And then again, we had um, some local pork. We had some great pork that Chef Andrew roasted earlier today. And I said, what can I use? He said, I've got some great pork in the fridge. So this is just a brined pork uh, loin that we had. So I'm just going to lay a couple pieces in the bowl and once you dump the broth over it's going to heat everything up yeah okay. right because the broth yeah. is hot the broth we'll is hot couple it up. Okay. okay so we're going to make these pretty yeah, lovely and pretty already, yeah. and then i deep fried some tofu oh, so yeah. marinated tofu which okay. i love yeah. uh and if you don't like tofu don't use it yeah just use exactly. whatever you like you could put you could put some like really fatty bacon in here you could do you could do grilled chicken if you had to happen to have okay. that in the fridge you could put shrimp in here uh you might want to par cook them a little bit and then egg so these are gonna yeah. hard boiled eggs. Yeah. Um, I, this is, oh, here's a funny thing. You asked me about pregnancy and everything. So okay. I used to be a lover of runny and loose egg. Yeah. Like eggs Benedict yeah. and like loose scrambled egg and like cracking that egg on the plate and dipping your toast in it. Right. Like yeah. those, I remember those days. They were joyous days. They were, now they're gone. And I had babies and I can no longer process really? egg yeah. yolk that is loose. That's, like that is, yeah. it's, so like if you would crack into one of these and like the, the, the yolk would like lose out. Would you want yeah. to like gag? No, I would love to eat it now, but I would immediately be sick. Really? And the muscle so my like body, body pregnancy can... changed my body and that's what happened. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. I know. So it's just watch for signs yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's interesting because I always have loved Eggs Benedict, but now 
the thought of it even yeah. is makes me just feel ill. So I, yeah. I hope it returns for my love for it. I hope but it I does mean, too. Yeah, it's one thing I miss. It's yeah. one one, and I couldn't figure out what it was right away. Like I, yeah. I love pasta carbonara when they break the egg yolk yeah. in the end and then spin it around and make it super creamy. And I, that's when I first got sick, and, and I didn't put it together. Can't. They can't. There's something in the protein of egg wow. yolk that I cannot do. Okay. All right. So Pregnancy, it's a wonderful yes, thing. Yes. Question. We have Jillian Donchamal, East Coast Bakers. Here. Oh, hello, East Coast Baker. Uh, we have a Louisa from Texas is here. Oh, Louisa, she's and amazing. Oh. Your Hi. favorite Ted, not your favorite Ted, your oh. favorite Ted is oh, here. My oh, my husband. You didn't hear that your dog's name is Ted. You didn't hear that. My yeah. puppy's name is Ted. So she, said, oh, she said, oh, I have a fur baby. I said, oh, what's his name? He, she said, Ted. I said, oh, oh isn't that hilarious? Isn't that funny? It's hilarious. It's a beautiful name. It's a beautiful name. It is a beautiful name. That's so funny. Actually, one day I was at the dog park, and I was saying, like, Ted, Ted. And this man kept looking, and he's like, oh, that's your dog's name. <laughs> that's my name, too. So I was like, well, yeah, I wasn't calling for this random stranger. For this random stranger at the park. <laughs> Maybe it was your husband. Maybe he was there. You don't have dogs, do you? We had a dog. Oh. No, it's okay. It's a good okay. it's a good story. We it's had a dog nice. with our family. It was a rescue dog that Ted yeah. and I got the year before we got married. Okay. And we were twelve years last week. Yeah. Um, Dakota. We, she was a rescue from SVCA yeah. and she obviously had a tortured life. Yeah. Um, and so she was with our family until last August. She's seventeen. Wow. Which in dog That's years. That's a like, long time in she, dog years. She probably yeah. probably was probably a little bit longer than she should have been, but yeah. it's hard it's hard yeah. to let your 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 family yeah, and your family your, and the, 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 dogs the are kids family. were definitely yeah. I mean everybody I had sort of come to that point where I'd made that decision uh, this is better for the dog and it's certainly better for us from a you know obviously she was older but the kids yeah. really took it hard and right. Ted took it hard but so she had a good life she, she had, had an amazing life. life yes what was her name Dakota Dakota Dakota, Dakota. Dakota. see I already she said yeah. it and I already yeah. forgot Sorry. like this is oh my god so this is it this is our I think I okay. included Don't everything me. and then we're gonna put a little bit of green onion on the top just a little bit. There we go. Is what do we question? think? Is my cheater ramen work? I think it's so. Look how good it looks. Yeah, I, I could be a professional. It's way better than mine. Who oh, no. is a professional? <laughs> my God. Come on. I'm a professional at peanut butter and jam sandwiches. Oh, I love That's, those. They're good. Yes, they are. You know, a bit of fluff in there, some yeah. peanut butter, we're good yeah. to go. Yeah, I actually made a pretty good tuna melt uh, earlier today. So, you know, that's tuna not melt. nothing fancy, but it was, tuna melt. it was good. It was super good. Okay. Sarah said when she was pregnant, my wife, it was yes. chicken. Chicken, chicken. Oh, did you really? Chicken, chicken but that's why I asked if you were okay with the miso because I would have uh, probably. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's a certain smell. Everybody's different. It's just so love sweet. popsicles and pickles. I'd have yeah. to go get pickles in the middle that's of that. So, yeah, pickles, Weird popsicles. Do you have any of that yet? I haven't had any. So in my first trimester, I more had aversions. Like I could, I would only want to eat a specific thing. Like one day. I really, really wanted Velveeta shells because as a kid we used to oh, have Velveeta yeah. shells. <laughs> and my husband came home with the craft version of the shells. And you're like, that's not the same no, thing. No, I need the no, canned no, cheese. No, no. <laughs> this is not good enough. I'm sorry. This is not Velveeta. <laughs> this is not the that's cream awesome. of the crop. So, anyways, that was just kind of things I wouldn't want to eat. And I'd only want to eat like one specific thing, like yeah. peanut butter and jam toast or something yep. very random. Anything else would just t turn me right off. So actually, I lost weight in my first trimester because I didn't want to eat anything. So, but now everything's all good. So everything's I'm all good. I'm eating everything. You're so good. hopefully it's, it stays that way. I hope it stays that way. <laughs> Mitchell, can you grab some spoons? We want to try this. Chef Adam over there. Sorry, yeah. I didn't get, I know, he's, he's on the gimbal. He's multitasking on the gimbal. All right, it's I know, like I should have got chopsticks too, cameras. but I didn't. All right, so. Yeah, maybe it's better if we didn't have chopsticks, I don't know. Yeah, I know. You might want a bigger. These are all little spoons. These are not appropriate. These are dessert. <laughs> Come on, Adam. Dude. Dude. We'll just, Dude. We'll do it very like yeah. dainty. Very daintily. All right. Well, there oh, you go. Yeah, this is our this. cheater ramen. Or ramen. And can you have some forks too, please, for the noodles? <laughs> I should have totally got chopsticks. I totally forgot. Yeah, oh, good. he's just handing us massive amounts <laughs> at this point. And you dig down and you get those lovely noodles. What do you think? Could you make this? It's so, yeah. I would it's say so. It's so easy. I just need to, like, uh, improve my chopping skills. Well, you did an excellent job. I botched a freaking mushroom. I botched you didn't a mushroom. really. Yes, I did. No. How, how can I eat this, like, you know, there's nothing graceful, though. You just slurp. You're supposed to slurp it, too, right? That, you, you sit across from somebody, you're eating ramen, you're supposed to. And yeah. they don't get ramen in their eye. It's not a problem. It's not a <laughs> It's not a what? <laughs> If they don't get ramen it's in not a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Isn't cool. that? Yeah, this is great. Good. Fabulous. 
Your yeah, mom Karen. just called you out. She said you're being very modest. You're a very good cook. Oh. oh. I think she just likes Don't my you just baking. Love mom? Yeah, mom's the best. <laughs> we do lots of baking together. I think uh -huh. that's probably yeah. right, mom. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, anything else you want to share with our lovely viewers? I don't know. I'm just gonna. I keep eating this. Um, I you don't can know. eat it. Is there anything else I should share? No. Other than you're awesome. You're doing some really oh, cool thank things. thank you. You're so sweet. Well, yeah. I don't know. Then, Anything else coming up? Anything coming up? coming up. Well, you know, expecting a baby in February. Yeah, I think you're just kidding. Busy. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> we've, already, we've, already, we've already talked about that. So I do a lot of speaking at schools. So every awesome. now, like a few times a month, I'm at different schools across Canada. I was telling you in 2017, yeah. I had 87, 87 flights, flights in 2017. I was like, what? Yeah, so I spend a lot of time on airplanes. So I do a lot yeah. of traveling, speaking at schools, speaking at events, and just sharing messages of positivity and then... I will hopefully be in the law world in a couple of years, but yeah. babies are first, I guess. Babies so, are first. Or this one baby is first. So. And maybe, who knows? Yeah, maybe, see how maybe more. Yeah, maybe we'll more. See. We'll see. I don't know. Cool. It's a little much. Well, thank you for coming on. It well, was awesome pleasure. to have you. Yeah, it was it so really great. Was. I honestly feel like I did nothing. Except you did. You talked. You. you did an excellent job. And I you was stood like over a, there. I just stood over here. You great. And, and you chatted. That's and you chatted. That's, that's what the whole show's about. You there we go. All the things. All the things. Chit, chat, and chopped. Woo, 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 woo. Yay. All right. So... Uh, episode 54 next week. That's so cool. We have Ezra. Ezra. Ezra from Compass Distilleries. So it's wow. a new distill. Well, I say new. It's like a year, year and a half. That's pretty new. That's Down pretty new. on Agricola yeah. Street. Okay. And he's going to come on. He's the master Ezra. distiller. He's one of the distillers. He's, he's a master. I believe he's the owner. He's the owner distiller. Um, and we're going to make a uh, uh, penne a la vodka. Oh, wow. He made that as a kid. It was one of the first recipes you learned how to make. Wow, that's fun. So we're going to make that. See, that's a fun story. And I've never made this, so I guess that's a fun story. Yeah. But that's actually, like, a nice story. Yeah. Well, I wanted to make something because you said, like, I think yeah. this is easy and you can pull it all together. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you can even have it for a dinner party. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, okay. It's yeah. beautiful. Cool. Fabulous. No, we don't want to let you, let you have to go totally. So, like, yeah, you just moved here to the East Coast. Is there something, yeah. what's your favorite thing about the movies? Is there something here that you're, like, is, was the best surprise? Something about the East Coast that was the best surprise. I think the best thing about the East Coast has been how similar it actually is to the prairies in the like the way that the people are. Mm -hmm. They're very welcoming. Yeah. Very kind, but also have like a unique personality. Like in the prairies, I don't know if you guys find if I talk kind of funny, but I feel like people in the prairies talk more funny than me. Funny. Okay, no. Okay. So like you can just tell when people are from the prairies. I feel like, and you can just tell when people are from the East Coast. So kind of that like they're like each other but unique in their own ways. Yeah. I think that was the most pleasant surprise for me is the people have been so awesome. And the food is obviously amazing. The restaurants, yeah. I mean, come on. I know. So, uh, yeah. I think that's restaurants and people, food and people, you can't go wrong. Food and people? Yeah. And chit chat chop, you can't and go wrong. And chit chat chop, you can't I mean, go come wrong, on. really. She hasn't <laughs> experienced the East Coast winter yet. Really yeah. Oh, well, you also, might be yeah. saying something different. Come. I I have visited often in the winter, but I've never lived here in the winter. But what I find oh, is people they say, say this winter is going to be bad. Really? Well, and I find like the wet cold out here is yep. so cold. Like I'll minus forty in the prairies, but whatever. dry. It's dry. dry. It's, it's not. It's not. You that, don't have. All I don't that. think it's that bad. Like I used to run through the winters. Like if you dress properly, you're good. But he, here. You can wear all the And it things chills you right to the to bone the and bone. you're wet. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's different. It's, it's like the summer when it's hot and you're wet. Yeah. Because it's yeah. so humid. Yeah, it's... I'm intrigued to it's see. It's an interesting yeah. It'll be good, though. It'll be good. The people and the food will get me through. It'll get you through. It'll get I'll you survive. through. I'll survive. I'll make it. It'll be good. I hope cool. I'll make it. Well, thank you for coming on. My pleasure. It was awesome. It was so and fun. episode 54. I can't even believe that. I can't even believe episode 54. It started with like Started with an idea. And, and here they are with their tech glasses, <laughs> freaking everybody out. The, the, press okay. the, the button's on the. Oh wait, how do so we do you it? Put them on. Yeah, and then you press right twice or once. Just once. There and now see it's now it's recording. It's recording. Mm -hmm. And I look like Ellen John. Oh, I know. His, ramen. his old yeah. You go down, look at the ramen. Okay. His look old at, glasses okay. were like bright oh, wait, blue. Who, they were way out. So who's seeing this? This is gonna go right to my Snapchat. Then I can pull it off and. Okay, yeah. so your Snapchat is seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah. <laughs> this would be bad if people wore this all the time. <laughs> it would, it totally would. It would be good or bad, I don't know what you'd want to see. But anyways. <laughs> well, thank you all time. for joining us, and we'll see you next Wednesday, Chit Chat Chat, Facebook Live at 9 o'clock. <laughs> and uh, yeah, follow Miss Sierra Virtual. She's awesome. Woo -woo. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>